The program in metabolic biology represents the evolution of intermediary metabolism in biochemical nutrition. This is a fusion of the two fields to take advantage of modern biological research techniques to study the impact of the chemicals in diet on disease risk and health outcomes. The chemicals in diet include nutrients, phytochemicals, and toxicants. And these chemicals are converted in the body through a process called metabolism into tissue mass, energy, and regulatory molecules that regulate our health and our moods. So the program studies how these processes occur and whether or not there are deficits in these processes that will enhance disease risk and how our diet interacts with these processes to induce health. Now, the faculty come from many different backgrounds. They have backgrounds in medicine, in analytical chemistry, in organic chemistry, molecular biology, biochemistry, and nutrition. These faculty synthesize all of these perspectives to bring a unique attitude and perspective to the study of the impact of diet on health and disease, which we refer to as metabolic biology. This is really a very exciting time to join this dynamic field of research. Metabolic biology has been propelled to the forefront of biomedical research through groundbreaking discoveries, such as new hormones that govern appetite and satiety in humans, by making new connections, for example, between longevity and our diet and also to new technologies that, for example, have empowered us now to look at hundreds of different metabolites in a single sample at the same time. Also, the obesity epidemic that currently has been occurring worldwide and also particularly in this country has made it even more important for us to understand the molecular mechanisms underlying obesity-associated diseases such as type 2 diabetes to empower our future search for possible cures for these debilitating disorders. What is the next grand challenge in biology and medicine? We understand essentially every protein and every gene in the human body, but that is not enough. What we need to understand next is the connectivity relationships, the interactions within these complex networks that characterize living systems. That is what defines health, that is what leads to disease, and that is what you will learn in the program of metabolic biology. Numerous opportunities have been afforded to me in this program. First and foremost, the program has provided me with the tools to solidify a fundamental understanding of metabolism. Secondly, the program fosters an environment of scientific collaboration. This is between both the graduate students and also the faculty members. And I actually have first-hand experience with this and it has guided my research. Lastly, my graduate teaching experiences in the program have given me the opportunity to hone my skills as a teacher. And this is something I believe will give me a leg up as I pursue a scientific career with a focus on education. Of course, it's been great being surrounded by researchers who focus on the role of metabolism in health and disease. However, I believe the most valuable aspect to my training in this program has been the exposure to novel techniques and unique approaches to answering scientific questions. It's these tools that I've taken with me in my postdoctoral research and will guide me for the rest of my scientific career. In the first year of our program, students rotate through three to four different labs. This was really beneficial for me because not only did I learn a variety of techniques and technology in the department and get to know much of the faculty and staff, but also I was exposed to these new topics and areas in metabolism that I became really interested in. And I may have overlooked had I just jumped into a lab right away. Here at UC Berkeley, we have access to the country's best facilities and equipment and especially some of the most brilliant faculty advisors. Any experiment you can dream of can be performed with the aid of highly experienced colleagues. Our program encourages each individual to master scientific thinking, analytical skills, and especially methodology, so that by the end of your graduate training here, you'll have garnered everything you need to fulfill your scientific career aspirations. I got my PhD in May 2010, and now I am a tenure-track assistant professor in the Department of Nutrition and Food Science at San Jose State University. This metabolic biology program is definitely for people who want a solid biochemistry and metabolism background and who want to be able to contribute to the field of nutrition from a molecular perspective. 
My training and success here at Cal in the graduate program has prepared me for my dream job where I have intellectual freedom, autonomy, and occasionally get free food.